Okay, so let's plot some points. Starting with negative 2,3, remember of course that our first value is always the x value, the second value is the y value. Here we have the x axis and the y axis. And so the negative 2 for x, positive 3 for y. So starting over here, right at the center, the origin, right? Because this point is 0, 0, right here. If we have negative 2 for x, we need to go to the left by 2 units. y is positive 3, so we're going to go up by 3 units. So right here, that's our point, negative 2, 1, 3. Whoops. Okay, how about 4, comma negative 5? So again, starting here at the center, our value for x is 4. So we're going to go 4 units to the right now, since we have positive 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then y is negative 5. So we're going to go down by 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right here. All right, actually, let me just color code these these points here. So that's, that's going to be the red point right here. So that makes things a little bit easier. Now let's say that we have negative 7, comma, negative 2. So x is negative 7. Starting at the origin, we go 7 units to the left. Since x is negative 7. Why is negative 2? So we go down 2 units. So right here. That's our green point right there. All right, what about eight and three? X is eight, Y is three. So again, we have a positive number for X, so we go to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three units up, one, two, three, right here. Okay, I'm almost running out of colors here. <laughs> As sad as that may, may sound. Um, okay, let me pick this one. Right. 0 and 5. Okay, so now we, we start at the origin, and the x value is just 0. So we don't go to the left nor the right. We just stay here. But the y value is 5, so we go 5 units up. So that is our point right here. And just one more point. We have 0 and negative 7. So again, we don't go to the left nor the right because x is just 0. But we go 7 units, <coughs> sorry, 7 units down because y is negative 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 7 right here. That's it.